Hello out there. Here I'm going to show how I board a built up bearing housing on a torque arm for a scraper tractor. Here you can see the face has been cleaned up, but I haven't started boring yet. Just as weld condition. Here is see how I've got it clamped onto the table, side of the table with the extra support added up there to for a little more rigidity. Here I'm taking a fairly heavy cut, just still roughing out the bore, getting it close to size. Notice the pilot bearing below, steadying the boring bar. My old radial drill is just a little bit on the worn side. You can't really bore with it unless you've got some kind of a pilot on it. A little too loose in the spindle. Here you can see the pilot on the boring bar. I'll pull it out. Now I'll we'll go through the steps that it takes every time I finish the cut in order to adjust my tool for the next cut. Get the tool facing the direction I want it to. Wipe the oil off the boring bar. Now I need to get a measurement of the bore. It's kind of tricky with the telescopic gauge and the boring bar in the way. Hard to get your hands in there the way it needs to be. Try to get the telescopic gauge set in there at about the right angle so I can push it through center. Get an accurate measurement. Not too much angle on it still, so I'm going to manually get it down where I need it to be. Then snug the knob up. Then slowly push it through with my left hand finger while wiggling it to make sure it stays centered in the board. Then I'm using a micrometer to see what my reading was. Now I'll double check to make sure that I got a good feel of the telescopic gauge. <laughs> got to figure out how much to take out. One thing to keep in mind here, my little homemade tool just uh, measures how many thousands you move the tool. So you only uh, adjust for half the amount you want to take out of the bore since you're taking out of the diameter and this is reading the radius. Now I'm going to back it up to half the amount I want to increase the size of the bore. Using my right hand to push the tool up tight against the micrometer and then tighten the tool back down. Take this off. And get ready to make another pass. Put a little oil on the end of my boring bar where it goes through the bearing. Kind of reduce the wear, friction. And away we go. Ready for another pass. Thanks for watching the video.